So I untabbed this piece, and you can already see that uh, in this one area, when we get some geometry built, I might need to spin that quad over. Uh, but I'm going to select the exterior region here. And I've got kind of a, I'm just going to edit that one point to be a little more flush, I guess. I think that's all the polys I need. And I just want to get one more row out of there. That basically is going to form the, the geometry we need for the knuckles as well as for the pads, uh, those padded areas, um, bones in the hand, which are, which, you know, there, there are, there are substantial muscles and, you know, superheroic looking hands and stuff like that, but there, any hand is predominantly formed. Uh, the shape is, you know, most, uh, the shape is really resulting, you know, it's an emerging thing from the bone structure more than anything, you know, that goes for your animation model as well. Uh, however you end up rigging this, you know, there's a substantial uh, contribution to the bones and the deformation shapes, and there's so many joints in the hand, you know, there's, there's a lot to look out for. Uh, I put a lot of performance, uh, especially on Caprica, there are episodes that I spent a, a ton of time just on um, one particular episode animating hands, you know, that, 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 were, uh, that were assembling and disassembling a gun, and it was a lot of fun, you know, but there was, even though those were robot hands, you know, a lot of attention to detail in the uh, the model was made around those areas uh, while we were modeling uh, or while we were in production on that. In order to fix, I'm going to fix this one area here. Actually, I want to come back around counterclockwise. There's a quad here, but I need one. I want one here just to correct uh, something really quickly. I'm just going to spin those a couple of times and get. A nice regular area there. Sorry. So it's coming together pretty good. Uh, I want to select some of these polygons here and kind of puff them out a little bit. Together. I don't want to get too worried about you know. I could probably do the math essentially and say, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get caught later on if I do keep doing this, but. You know, because there are only this many points here, this many points there. You know, I'm really just playing it by ear. But, uh, playing back and forth. I remember uh, we already conserved a row up here. We may eventually need to conserve one more. Um, not terribly worried about that. What I'm worried about is uh, what's resulting here. Kind of expand this a little bit. Um, get something a little more subtle in that transition. You can see that the uh, geometry at the top here. So let me switch back. This could probably be in a little more ideal shape. Push it down a little bit. And untab that. Now, what would be the ideal spot, you know, for these knuckles to start converging. Well, we know that we have to select them in groups of threes for collapsing in certain ways. And we definitely have groups of three per knuckle. So let's let's give that a shot. <clears throat> Conserve, merge, conserve, merge. Uh, I'm saying conserve and merge, and it's just a sort of mnemonic device, I guess, to just merging particular points. Conserve that geometry. Weld, shift Z. And there we go. We've collapsed a bunch of geometry. You can start seeing it's going to be easier to kind of bridge these over. Uh, maybe conserve a little more where we need them. There. 
so yeah, tons of volume, tons of shape. Um, so to check what it. Again, that's probably kind of looking at that pinch area, but you know, when it's again testing it, if it's frozen, it's not too bad. Could probably be a little better. Uh, again, it's probably just a, an artifact of the way OpenGL renders certain types of, of polygons. Uh, that automatically looks a little better. It's always just that little peak that you know from a branching polygon like that that creates. In OpenGL, some you know, artifacts of rendering that are kind of annoying to me sometimes. Uh, but here we go, uh, getting really close here. I remember that was one of the areas I wanted. I didn't want to stray, and we've got you know kind of a pinching area here, and that's not ideal. So that's that's probably an artifact from the, uh, the smoothing and uh, other operations I did in that area. Um, Definitely be more, a little more precise in this area. It's not too bad. Bad. Again, that's another region. Um, excuse me, region. We've got some clothing to build there, so th there's the opportunity in in some of this area using the clothing and the gloves to to sort of beef up certain aspects of the model. Um, Again, clo just to, to sort of reiterate, clothes can sometimes be really problematic if you're not doing simulations and stuff like that. You've got to be careful where you add wrinkles and other details. So, uh, I'm going to start getting to some specific detail areas and defining more muscles and, you know, starting on that clothing. <laughs>